Good evening. So it's a Monday night after work, so I've decided to pop down to the rainforest for the night. I don't know, I just feel like I need to wake up with the sun shining through the trees and a nice swim in a forest pool before I go to work, so here I am, just into the trail. Um, there's the road behind me. So I've just got started. Um, already up there I can see a big fat greater green snake. Anyway, so let's take a walk. Check out this tiny little grasshopper. This thing must be less than a centimeter long. You can see how small it is. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Oop. Sorry, buddy. And up here, just on this fern, we have a little juvenile greater green snake. There's a comparison. A very small snake, this one. Just a baby. And I've noticed this a couple of times with these little juvenile greater greens where they seem to jump out of the tree when they've been disturbed. So I feel a bit bad, but it didn't need to go jumping out of bed. Gorgeous little snake. Anyway, it's about time I got moving and let this guy back up to sleep. I'll leave it alone before it jumps back down. About a half hour's walk up, 40 minutes perhaps, and camp out by the river. Check out this beauty of a grasshopper. There's a waterfall right nearby, so it's a bit loud. Sorry about that. And then right up here, the biggest, gnarliest caterpillar I have ever seen. Anyway, let's have a closer look at that. So like I say, I don't know what this caterpillar is, but it is a monster. It literally gave me a fright when I first glanced at it. Wow. I can't imagine what that turns into. Anyway, let me stick my hand up next to it. Look at the size of that. It is huge. What an incredible creature. So that's greater green snake number four. There was another one that I got a quick look at as it was scooting by. It was out and about. But this one, this little one down here, is sleeping so I won't disturb it too much. So we're about halfway now. Great green snake number five. These snakes are semi arboreal, that is, they sleep in the trees at night, and during the day they're out hunting for worms, grubs, and other squishy bugs. There's a lot of these flat back dinosaur millipedes here or marzipan millipedes, as I've referred to them before. And as I've mentioned before, they produce a cyanide compound when they're disturbed, which smells like bitter almonds, like marzipan. The big emerald green tree frog. Gorgeous frogs. Snake number six, another greater green snake. This one's a little more interesting because it has these black markings on it. It's very small, this one. Very small. And only about five meters later, another juvenile greater green snake sleeping up here. And perhaps another ten meters, and here's another one, a medium sized one this time. Down here we've got a tiny little circular saw snail. Dangerous. Watch me chop my finger off. They're pretty cool little snails, these. Way up there, I guess that's number nine, number ten. It's very high up, big too. Can't get a good look at it. So up through there is number 
11, 12, 13, and it's huge as well. It's been a slow walk, so I need to pick up the pace. Another giant greater green snake way through there. A bit far away. Way, 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 way back there. Way back there. Now this is something pretty incredible too. This is a planarian, a flatworm. And what's special about this is how long it is. Check this out. So to put some perspective there. I don't know how well you can see that, but this thing stretched out is longer than my arm. I'm at this little, little shrine, and they're like a little temple. Got the booze there, and someone's even given them a cigarette. So, they seem to be appeased. Now, this is a relatively common snake along forest trails. The hose snake. And over here, more again. Pipe snakes. Alright, this is where I get back down to the river. So, almost there. Well, some jackass took a massive turd right here, right at the trail. It goes down to a very popular swimming area for families, right there. Can't believe it. Anyway, there's not much to bury it with, so I put a bunch of leaves on it and a rock. Better than nothing, I guess. Pretty rank. Anyway, we're almost down the river now. I can't believe how close it is. It's usually very hard to get this close to them. Anyway, this is a mountain scops owl. Otis something or rather else-ish. I forget the scientific name. Hello, little owl. You've got a cute little face. Curious little eyes. I guess we should go. Thanks. Here is a gorgeous little slug snake. Always a welcome sight. So, I guess 18 snakes now. I wouldn't be surprised if there's more. Here's another big pipe snake. A long one, this one. It's on the rock here, down by the river. We've got a really big green tree viper. 19 snakes now. You can see how distinctly different they are from the greater green snakes. They're very triangular shaped head, red eyes, that white stripe down the side of its body, and a red tail. Anyway, good luck to it. Check out this cool spider. Ryokyo Kajika frogs. You can even see a bunch of their tiny little tadpoles in there. They are a very small frog. And it's good to see that they persist and breed here quite happily. Another hopeful green tree viper down by the river. So, 20 snakes tonight. Impressive. A family of grass lizards sleeping here on the grass beside the river. 
They're dire, and also they would have been up here sleeping until I came along and disturbed them. Better leave them be. Well, it's a little after 1 a.m. now. A little bit later than I was hoping to get to bed. But I've got my hammock set up. Time for a quick wash and sleep. It's not too hot down here by the river, so it should be a good night's sleep. Anyway, good night. Good morning. So time to pack up the hammock and go for a nice quick swim. So down in here, a little eastern water snake. Possibly munching away on the tadpoles. Back on the trail. Time to start making my way back. Roughly a half hour hike back out to the road. I really like this diffuse sunlight filtering in through the trees. Something really special about it. I'm a bit hungry, ready for lunch. <laughs> 